It was a Wednesday. I never liked Wednesdays. My Auntie June died on a Wednesday. The office was quiet. So quiet I could hear myself thinking about how quiet it was. I sounded tired and overworked. A little depressed and desperate for the love of a woman. Nothing I didn't already know. But believe me, this town's a toilet. And the one good thing about a toilet is that it's a great place to do your business. Sure enough, it wasn't long before the phone started ringing off the hook. Somehow. Which meant I had to hang up to pick up, and already I was having a bad day. Hello? No answer. I was so hungry I could eat a horse, and so hoarse I needed a drink. This early in the morning I always felt confused and alone, like a Hindu at Christmas. That's why I hired Mindy, my new secretary. She smelt like a fish and drank like my grandmother. It could have been the other way around, it wouldn't have made a difference. She was still hot. She said she'd found two new cases in the mail. One of them was a job, the other was an actual case that I'd bought off eBay. No, it really did feel like Christmas. I looked up at Mindy, put on my silkiest voice and asked her, How do you like your eggs in the morning? Fertilized, she said. And that was the end of that conversation. The job was a doozy. Suspects with personal histories, health records, evidence, and even photographs from the scene of the crime. All the morbid details. There was blood everywhere, like something out of a movie. But the only thing romantic about this comedy was its depiction of violence. I was all over this, like a sexually transmitted disease over genitals. It was clear to me right away that this man was a paranoid schizophrenic. I asked myself for a second opinion, and I agreed. I was gonna need everybody on this. NSA, FBI, CIA, UPS. I was gonna blow this case wide open and then I was gonna close it. Again. Case closed. Twelve hours later, I was still working. The phone rings. Mindy answers. Spider and fly, private dick. She's meant to say private eye. My client on the line. So far up his own ass, he was almost out of my jurisdiction. He asked me how it was going, and I told him it was murder. I meant the workload, of course. But somebody got life. Mindy, call me a cab. You're a cab. Thank you, Mindy.